Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to fan service. Uh, Ropa. Trigger happy. The second game. Hi. <laughs> fucking what a it's fucking awful. Hi. Welcome back. We're playing dang and Ropa. Trigger happy havoc. Uh, no, we're not. Jesus. Lord Almighty. Hi. We're playing uh, dang and Ropa. Goodbye Despair? Yeah, that Goodbye Despair. V2. Whatever it is. Anyway, this has gone on way too long. Last episode, Kazuichi wrote me in to uh, come down to the beach to peep at some ladies. And so Hajime was like, sounds like a fucking plan. And here we are. And now we're watching all the women come in slowly one by one uh, in bathing suits. Uh, except for Mikan. She came in. Oh, and then Ibuki. She came. She, they were going to get changed later. But I'm guessing uh, Peiko is... is is just in a fucking fucking some sort of samurai bikini or something anyway let's do it all right oh who was it this time <laughs> jesus fucking christ <laughs> she's fucking wet that <laughs> 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 fucking virgil Hajiman, <gasps> kazuichi why are you two here why are you two here hey, <laughs> Step on aren't me. you breathing pretty heavily Jesus fucking I just Christ. Did a little swimming. All right. A little swimming. I swam around the island for about three hours. Bruh. It's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Okay. Why are you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? <laughs> I was warming up. It wasn't for my enjoyment. <laughs> I'm not a shrimp. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Mmm. Mmm. But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Okay. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Well, there it is. Kazuichi tipping his fedora. Tipping his fedora out of respect for Pekko. <laughs> Set not a shrimp. You know what I mean? Hey, Hajime. Hmm? What? Awesome! A woman with wet slick bag hair is pretty fine too, huh? Nice. Nice, brother. Oh my my! And this body too. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Going in for a Your second time. These are sure well endowed nowadays. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? <laughs> what the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. Nice. This is this. <laughs> this is the plot advancement Don't I was waiting for. Asinine things. Oh fuck. <laughs> Virgil is having a good time. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone is almost here. It's already past 4 p.m. If so, all that's left uh, is. I am terribly sorry for my delay. Oh no. <laughs> Let's go let that one ride. Miss Sonia's here. He's, he got that one. He's doubled down on excitement. Uh, All right. What kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonia wearing? Winter jacket. Mosquito. It's a wetsuit. It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. Honestly, that should be However, fucking me. As I have never worn a wetsuit before. I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Yeah, you pee in them? It's golden, it you know? My bad. Take a little poo poo. Oh my. I see. A wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonia! But that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I'd expect from a 100% purebred princess. <laughs> That's what you do. You pee in them, and it warms you up. I mean, actually, I guess that is technically a strategy if you would need to warm up. So, not necessarily discounting that. Um, better, better to pee in there than in some other places. Uh, okay, this guy—he's quick to recover. Um, anyway, why are you two here? Uh, I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest. If you're going to go to the beach, please let us come I with am you. Concerned. <laughs> okay, talk about the breeding of a human being. I know it is a little bit. <laughs> Don't mix bloodlines. It's the half strips, man. Just fuck it. Just go, just go straight. Come on, what do you what do you need? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's impure. Of course. 
Yeah, she's got a little bit of extra arm on her hip. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Well, this is originally supposed to be a girls only outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. But because you two pervs want to come along. Do you think you can make an exception pretty please? Um, well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems even if there are some boys. Man. You're right. They came all the way here. It would be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> this Sonya is just so kind. Right. Now that I've got a boner, now it's decided, let's get going. But Akana's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I, I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Oh, wait, if I can, wait, hold on. I forgot something. Whoa, wait! Wait a minute! Jerry! Oh, no! Oh, Jerry! Jeremiah, that's what we say. Jeremiah, so good to see you. Oh my god. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I was just had to set something up. Had to fucking plug the dilder in so it's ready for tonight. What a good joke. Um, I'll set up the parasol. I prepare the drinks. Engine's revving. I mean it. I promise I can put my all to serve you. So everyone has fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Someone's uh, finna fucking die. Uh, um, you don't, you don't get fucking, th this horror movie 101. fucking one, it ain't gonna be the fun time at the beach, it's gonna be with all the, uh, with all the, um, all the, the bikinied women, it's gonna be, uh, fucking, uh, bikinied women, and then a gore fest making you feel confused about mixing sex and violence together. Boom. I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits, this is a little awkward. Get in your speedo then, fuckface. I should go help Kazumichi too. As I mumbled my excuse, I ran out of the diner, almost as if, as if I were escaping. Diner parking. America 101. Um, Amrika. Uh, all right, now is the time that we find the fucking body. Let's go back in. You know what, I changed my mind. It's a little embarrassing to go back inside. I should chase after Kazumichi and head toward the beach. That's right, Hiyoka was fucking crying. A little wimpy baby. The diner signboard is spinning. A spinning restaurant signboard and on how yeah, it's the same shit, different fucking day. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. Blah blah blah. Alright, we're not gonna get anything new. Maybe I can milk this uh, level up though if I keep looking at shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Can I just can I just milk it? Let's just do it. Let's keep let's keep milking this shit. There we fucking go, baby boy. Um yeah. All right, well, it's time to head off. Chandler Beach. Chandler Bing. Is that what they called it, though? Chandler Beach. Chan- oh. What could that uh, tone possibly mean? A body? Huh? That, that bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered. Lit. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that in this murder mystery game there would possibly well, then, be murder? After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Nice. Ready for it. A, a body? That's a lie. Impossible. How could it have been? Someone. Oh. Is it Fuyuhiko? Come here. I mean, I guess Kaza, Kaza fucking soda, big old pop boy, pop band. <laughs> That was definitely Kazumichi's voice just now. It, it sounds like he's nearby. Where could he be? Uh, oh my god, is he at the diner? No. In the beach house, possibly. I mean, yeah, he's probably in the beach house. Or can you just... Anyway. Um, all right, well, no need in, uh, you know what, let's actually take a look around, because sometimes it's a little clue. If you look around before you rush in. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, it's fine, nothing outside. Nothing outside. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras, this is the thing. I was literally just thinking that, actually. I don't need to save, we just saved last time. Kaj, you scream, did I really hear it coming from here? <clears throat> No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I, I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who, who would believe something like that? 
As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. <laughs> I won't believe it. Teru Teru. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, it smelled like poo-poo. Those words mercilessly, mercilessly shattered into pisses. It's Fuyihiko. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, damn. I was not expecting Mahiru to die this early. Oh, fuck my ass. This deserves a little rice pudding uh, bite. Okay, there we go. If this was all a dream, it'd be pretty fucking lit. When did I, when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality... Is this the real life? Could it possibly just be fantasy? I feel like I'm caught in some sort of landslide. No escape from reality. Why is Mahiru on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Mm. The homicide OST will play again. Chapter 2. That's right. We're only on chapter fucking 2. Yes! <laughs> Death! Sea and punishment, sin and coconuts. Mahiru Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Toward us and toward herself, she was always facing forward. Yep. No, it just, uh, it, uh, interrupting the drama because I'm fucking salivating. She was that kind of person. Why her? Does it literally just say camera on it? The fucking brand just says camera on the top of her fucking camera. No, <gasps> uh, why her? Why? My hero, why? Why did this happen to her? Don't smile, Kazuichi. The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to bubble, and I instinctively placed my hands against the wall. Camera. Damn it. Hey, Hachime. Before this, we were having a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. We certainly were. But, poor Quad. Are you kidding me? Poor Quad, did something like this happen? Someone told me. All right. Okay, bitch, I obviously don't know what's going on either. <laughs> I like to think that Ibuki actually sounded like that when she saw the body. Oh! So this is what we... So, okay, so right off the top, we know... Right off the top, we know that um, he uh, that Kazuichi was the third person to, to see her because it's three or more people. So um, my guess is that obviously Hiyoko fucking saw her, and then whoever the hell else I don't know. But the mystery person is the is this third person. I'm gonna guess it would be like it, it seems like it would be Fuyuhiko. Hard to say though. Um, and Mahi was always she was always hanging around with uh, what's your nuts too. Well, hello. Hi, hello. This despair bear is here to watch the show. <laughs> shit. I like that shit. Hello. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. We're, um, we're tearing shit up. I fucking, my hero's dead. I don't fucking know what's going on. And we're going to fucking find out, Monokuma. Is that you? Um, huh? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry up and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the bitch house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. Yes! Uh, but I didn't really know how much time had passed. The pun, the pun was the pun was how I knew it was Monokuma. It was the despair it put inside me. My senses were numbed. Who do I sus? I think Mondo. I think Mondo did it. You know, back from the grave. It was a baseball bat. Shit, that's kind of weird. That's not really... I <laughs> My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off, like some sort of onion. My senses started to return, around the time I realized the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? Why, Mahiru? I've used that intro on a stream. That is fucking maniacal. I, I, I really fucking like that. Oh my god. Uh, why Mahiru? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Like this. 
for heaven's sake, what the fuck's going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling toward the beach house until a voice stopped hold them. Hold it. Ah, hold on a sec. Mm. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath. See? You know, the footprints in front of that door are interesting. As the first game characters. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's like, there's weird things like, that. There, there's obviously connections to the first game. I think like uh, with like Byakuya and Nagito and all that kind of stuff. But even with the Buki's backstory, where she was like, I was part of this like super popular girl band. And I'm kind of like, hmm, purple being sus. And also just being dumb. That's right. Uh, you know, the footprints in front of the door. That's right, Chihiro. Chihiro Nanami. There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? If you mean evidence. Monokuma mentioned in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. <laughs> Another class trial. Are you then are you saying this is? That's right. Wow, wow. Oh, Jambo father and sons, son. Jambo father and son game. That's really sweet. I like that. Thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. Wow. Chiaki Pog moment. That's right. One of you guys killed her. Killed. That's impossible. Hey. Anime. Hey. Holy fuck. We're popping off today. Hello, anime. No. It, it's not like a, an accident or something. Why? If you guys think that's an accident, no, that's wrong. That still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words, <laughs> dang it, Pogpa. Uh, I'm fucking flying through this. I actually should read it. Another class trial. Then are you saying this is that's right? One of you guys killed her. C killed. That's impossible. You know what? Probably fucking not. Actually, um, it it's not like an accident or something. You guys think that that's an accident? That still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? That also counts as a legitimate murder. I'm sure the baseball bat just fell off the ceiling. In these beach houses, it's it's common. Like my my family's beach house is the the ceiling is actually um we store that's where we store our baseball bats. That's how my grandpa died actually. Is he fucking um baseball bat came right out of the ceiling, got out of nowhere, ran away before we get to it. Dank and poggers, <laughs> cursed <laughs> apps. That's fucking cursed. <laughs> how good that works. Uh, though such deaths fall into a gray area, on this island, I will make sure it's clean to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's possible that sick and die on this island, not when Monami takes such good care of people. Oh, uh, What's this? Oh, speaking of which... Uh, I don't like this. There it is, the silent treatment attack is like the number one thing that hurts me. My, honestly, I think I am actually gonna fucking steal that if I remember it. Holy fuck. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose to you to your bashing. I've decided to become a tough kid. This is this is the worst. Once again, this horror, horrible nightmare. Another victim. It's all because of Monokama. No way. I'm gonna start saying people's um characters' names like fucking obnoxiously wrong just to pe piss people off. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold the class so... trial. Let's begin already. No whining. Just begin. It's the Monokuma file! Oh, fuck. That is fucking Leon's talent. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> uh, Mondo Kuwata, the ultimate biker baseball star. Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start Do to feel familiar. Why was best. I associating Mon uh, fucking Mondo with a bat? Because of a biker thing? I swear there's a there's a clip of him using a bat. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. Bye. <laughs> class trial. Uh, investigation. That's horrible. It's just too horrible. Th then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? <laughs> that, I, I did have that power before he Perhaps. appeared. Even if she tried to stop it, judging from Monokuma and Monami's relationship, there's no doubt she'd get stopped herself. <laughs> Yes. Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and the surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they they can only hear about three times that of a normal so person. Okay, important stuff. Um, yeah, maybe that. Maybe I was thinking about that. I swear it was like one of the clips I saw, like in in the what in after the um uh the Chihiro trial. That there was like some image of him holding a bat. I'm probably just thinking of something. I'm probably thinking of some anime or something, some clip from an anime where like it was like some biker that has a baseball bat. Um, also, completely forgot about that pickaxe thing. Completely forgot about that. That's weird. 
I feel like I wonder if that'll come up in this game. Maybe it was I, maybe it was answered. And I just didn't realize it. Uh, so basically, you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. Sob, I'm just the worst. A powerless rabbit like me is the worst. It's okay, you me. I'm here for you. Hey, now it's not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? <laughs> Thank you, virtually. I appreciate it. That's fucking lit. Uh, hey, do we have to do it again? That that cruel thing. We have to do Why? it again. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. My hero was killed by uh, my yeah. My hero was killed by one of us. <laughs> she says that. That's what she does. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating. Uh, oh wow! Look at that content. The class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. Uh, and so lewd, Hajime. Uh, there's no way we can just ignore it. the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Because we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Also, nice try, Chiaki. You said no one else is going to die. Uh, a kind of non-Chiaki Pog what? moment. The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru, too. It's really all Monokuma's fault. I understand that, too. But hey. even so... We should never I'll forgive. Never allow it. Killing. <laughs> she usually has her head in the clouds. For her to say something like that, she probably can't forget this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do, I'm it. do it. Then let's do this. Perhaps. Mahiru probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I, I understand. If everyone's doing it. I will do it too, but, 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 but please give me a little timey wimey. Yes, it is anime list. I have I played um I played trigger tra trigger <laughs> trigger trappy traffic um last year I guess like a couple months ago now. But yeah, this is this is the first time. This is this is fresh. It's fucking raw content. Raw fucking. Uh, but but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also. I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. If you heard, if you, if all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I, I shall excuse myself for now. Then, let's begin. Sure thing, Ko Kyoko. Who killed my hero Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> we gotta find out and solve this already. That's right. We gots to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this. Well, that's more the reason for us to finish this. Oh yeah, that's right. The fucking, the fucking despair. Dis uh, femmes do despair. I'm the only. I'm the only one who could do this. Okay. All right, there, big head. Investigate. That's too bad about my hero. I honestly thought she'd make it further than that. I thought the next person to die was gonna be like a Kane or something. Like, so I don't know. That's that's the that's the kind of good part of this game that gets you who you're not expecting. First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. Could it be any more dead? The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. Um, there are no other conspicuous external injuries. I'm fucking... I was just thinking about friends. I'm not even reading this. Okay, she killed around 3 o'clock. Uh... Scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house uh, at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. I'm guessing that might, might be the baseball bat that is lying in front of her. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. All right. That's pretty good. Get some fucking hype. Hype for uh, that class fucking trial around 3 p.m. That's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Uh, okay. Shit, that's true. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind my Mahiru's death. So Hiyoka was running away at that time. And we saw Fuyuhiko. We got there around 3, 3 p.m. So I don't honestly think it could be him. I don't think that it would be him uh, who did the murder, who did the nasty. Unless he was coming away from the beach. I can't remember if he was going towards or away from the beach. Ugh. We'll find out. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiru's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Truth butt. 
uh, has been added. To, Monokuma file numero do has been added to the triplet section of your handbook. Hi everybody. Today we're investigating the death of Mahiru fucking what's her nuts. Koizumi. Uh, all right. All right, lots to look up. There is trash in the trash can now. I don't believe there was before. And the closet's open. Would you look at that? Okay. Look at the shower room. So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. No peeing. Stop jerking off in the showers. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired on a, or under construction, something like that. That's right. The shower's being repaired so water won't come out. But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible. <laughs> but what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower is out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? That was the line, actually, Monami voice actor. It's, I'm sorry. Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. So I never got around to fixing it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You're so evil. Anyways, it's all Monokuma's fault. Everything is all Monokuma's fault. Oh. Ho -wa, ho -wa. Your doubtful eyes are telling me you think I'm Monokuma's accomplice. You must have read my fucking mind. <laughs> Th think what you want of me. I've already given up. <laughs> But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well, anyway, it looks like the shower room is definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside too. Shower room has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Well, uh, okay. Roadside door. Hmm. Uh, so I wonder if I had tried to go through that door, if it would have been like, mm, nope, something's in the way. And I would have been like, oh, what could that possibly be? Oh my God. If you wonder why I'm turning away from the cam, uh, from the camera, from the, well, I mean, I fucking produce an abnormal amount of saliva. So I just have to, sl I, I'm fucking drinking that shit so it doesn't get on get mic. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. Let's check out the closet. Closet door is half open. The last time I came here, that wasn't the case. It's a little sus. I should probably investigate inside here too. Here we go. Closet. Look at all that. I'm sorry. What are those uh, hanging in the back of that room right there? Someone wanna. Someone want to uh, egg fucking splain to me so when i crack my eggs uh splain style for me uh to understand what's going on there this is a pretty spacious walk-in closet but there's so much crap on the shelves and floor only one person could stand in here but if you think about it this way it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here someone was hiding out she's got the fucking um all right so sonya is like fucking Suspect number one at this point because of the fucking wetsuits and like of course you'd want to wear the wet you of course you fucking murder somebody and you're like oh shit there's a lot of fucking blood all over me maybe I should put something on to cover it wetsuit get why maybe it washes off underneath the wetsuit I don't know I've only had blood blood uh on me a couple of times inside of a wetsuit so I, I don't have a lot of experience with it there's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves even surfboards and a surfboard case I don't know they had surfboard cases but they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez. How careless. I think it's her and, like, Pecco. Because, uh... Pecco was, um... She was, uh, swimming. She came back from the beach. I, it just depends on where she, where she came from. Did she come back from Chandler Beach, or what? I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird. She could have murdered her and then just all over it. When you think outside the truth bullet box. Yeah, I think this game rewards that more too, because there's lots of there's I remember in the first mystery, there's lots of little things that like kinda just push that around. <laughs> yeah, that's right, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Till the end. Till the end. Virtual will defend. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies here too. Snorkel is like one of the like the most fucked up words ever. Hmm. There's not much else that could be related to the incident. Is there? Let me look over that. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies too. Why? Hmm. Gummy. 
Well, that's not important. Oh, that's definitely uh, fucking my hero. You know what? My hero's uh, no, not no, not my hero. Uh, Hioko was hiding out here. She was talking about those fucking gummies earlier. She's like, I fucking love gummies. Mm -hmm. There's something on the floor. It's an egg. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Oh, it's, it's, same same thing. Finding uh, candy on the floor in a place like this is <laughs> clearly unnatural. <laughs> That's that. What an adjective. If it's uh, connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Fucking uh, Chioka Mount did. Chioko. You know what? So far, I was more. Um, I was like really into um, Danganronpa One. Uh, I was like, I really like it, but um, I'm I'm really starting to fucking dig um, this cast here. I'm really, I think I'm, I think so far I, I like this game better overall. I think Trigger Happy Havoc was like really fucking good, but now that I'm kind of into the meat of this game more, I'm having a, I'm having more fun with it. I'd say the DR2. I'd say DR2 is my fave so far, like favorite cast so far uh, per capita. Yellow gummy has been added to the truth book section of your handbook. Don't eat it. Um, I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye in the side of this closet. Is that it, really? Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And wetsuits. Although... Okay. I'm just trying to look at stuff that like kind of seems out of place. Um, like, I mean, this might not be really a clue, but these surfboards have these three fins on them, and this one doesn't, and it's it's clearly upside down. Also, that one doesn't, though, so that's probably not anything. Uh, and the wetsuit, I was thinking, did Sonya take one from here? Um, possibly. Possibly. But uh, she could have got it from the supermarket, too, and there's no missing coat hanger, which she might have been thought ahead about. She might have thought ahead about about high stashing that away. Just throw it in the ocean. Hard to say. Fair, I, and that's what that's what's nice is like it is like it's like there's it's like I can't objectively say that like oh this is just a better game. It's just it's just like it really comes down to it's the, you can tell the games all the games are really good because there's that kind of like the people. It's not like it's not like oh well DR two is the best or like V three is the best. It's like. It's like, oh, this one had good stuff here. This had good stuff here, and they, they kind of, um, you, uh, you, you get to, you, you make a tough decision. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? I don't remember. Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. They look unnatural. Okay, sweetened or unhealthy drinks. Um. I don't remember if anyone was like, yeah, I only drink fucking healthy drinks. I can't remember. Okay. Maybe there's a clue inside this trash can. That's what I thought, but... Hmm. There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Hajime. I guess it's not that easy, huh? Empty plastic bottles. What is that stuff, though? Oro... Boom. Um... Been a trash can bad to the truth section of your handbook. Thanks so much. Uh, video game overlay. Okay. Let's check out all the corpsey stuff. Let's check out this beautiful little child mask. Hmm. What is this? What's this? Is this a mask? Uh, did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Could be. But they all have the same label. That's 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 uh um, water drinker is sus, as it would say. Regardless, why is this even here? I'm not even listening to what I'm reading. Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Could it be? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? That's what I'm thinking, uh, Peiko. No, they they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask. She's like, this is it. That mask. You've seen this? Sunwitch Esper Ito. It's a super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%. Is Sonya's country really are? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> the fucking roast. <laughs> the fucking roast. It cannot be. 
Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I am sorry. Uh, uh, please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonia rushed out of the beach house. What's with it her? Appears. <laughs> Literally the fucking roast. It's like when Sonic, it's like when the new Sonic show was like roasting itself. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Um, hmm, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. Huge humor, as they say. I wonder what she knows. I wonder what she knows. I wonder what she knows she's wearing. <laughs> Pretty anime girl mask. Pretty anime girl. That's been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. Well, well, well. Look at that. Fucking blood stain. Okay, so she wasn't immediately... Yeah, that's a, that's a drag, all right. <laughs> what a drag. Ka -ka 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 -ka. All right. There's bloodstains on the floor, and they're shrieked as if she crawled through them. They probably shrieked from when my hero tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Did she? No, what? That's fucking impossible. It said she literally got fucking hit in the goddamn head. She got hit in the goddamn head, and it was an instant. It was a killing. Wait, okay. Before I jump to a conclusion about why Hajime is, uh, in her fucking wrecked, uh, let's, uh, let's hop on in. <laughs> See the crime. Cause of death is a single killing blow to the head. Yeah, so it would have, it would have, I don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe it wasn't instant. Didn't say it was instant necessarily, so. But I don't think, uh, I think someone moved her. So she used all her energy to crawl away and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. I mean, I'd not to get fucking like CSI about all this, but it's like oh, the blood splatter doesn't look like it would, like she's crawling. Because why would it splat? Like it, you can see, sorry, that fucking the ringing noise is so annoying. I guess but you can see like around where the mask is, is it kind of like splatted out from her body? But that just might be, this might be the fucking. I don't know. Maybe that's re reading into this 2.5D game too much. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object is this metal bat, right? Huh. This metal bat. Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Hmm. Okay, maybe that's what I was thinking of. Supposed to be, yeah, the fair. That's actually very true. That girl is this like the first live action? Uh, is it the first live action shot? It looks like we've had in, the, in these games. I think that girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahi hey, Of course. Hey. Did you did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Me metal bat? The metal bat? Uh, yeah, that's exactly it. But true. Uh, Japan. My virgin eyes are bleeding. Uh, did you play it too? She's like, oh, I'm <sighs> 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 gamer. <laughs> that was it. That was I couldn't think of something fucking clever. Then I'm sure you know this, but the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Murders, uh, Twilight Syndrome murder case. I think, in order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solved the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. <laughs> Did you play that video game too? Did you play that video game too? Yeah. Well, you're a dumb fucking bitch. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because, <sighs> it's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I finished the game, but the game over. But you were able to beat it? Hmm. Mm, I'm not some game girl gamer who talks about games... Oh, you fuck, man, I, I... From the top! Uh, I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. <laughs> Fucking puffy cheeks. I'm not some gamer girl. So, what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. But for now, I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that this metal bat is absolutely the murder weapon, right? I mean, pff, the fucking covered in blood. That's fucking cursed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing that. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> we are now officially fucking cursed. 
It's like fucking uh <laughs> That gives me a big uh it's a it's an indie game now that not a lot of people have heard of, but it's a Five Nights at Freddy's gives you a big Five Nights at Freddy's vibe that. Uh okay, so check the bat, check the blood stain, check the mask. We haven't actually looked at the fucking corpy warpsy. Uh roadside door, let's look at that. My hero was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. But I never tried, so how could I know? Chiaki uh, Nanami. Let's talk to Pe Peko Yama. I will never forgive killing. <laughs> However, Chiaki seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That's, it's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. I don't know. It's hard. That's, a, that's kind of a philosophical question, isn't it? Do you, can you forgive forgive a murderer but <laughs> my hero my hero my hero, my, hero, my, hero, my hero. this this is too weird something this weird only happened in song lyrics well okay chiaki what the fuck How is up suspicious. my girl what is this this is suspicious i think did you find some kind of clue you know the footprints from earlier they were in front of the entrance facing the beach right oh that well? hajime and kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the house but these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Hey. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You, you did? Uh. At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road, but it didn't open, so I went around and tried to go in from the beach side door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiro's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Whatever. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel looked like they belonged to one person. <laughs> But it didn't open. From the beach house to the, to the tunnel. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. Okay. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house. Huh. That's definitely huh? sus. Now that you mention it, Peiko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints well. be? <laughs> Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe. Is that really but true? Still. He fucking, he fucking hates Pekko for some reason. Um, but these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. <gasps> then whose footprints are these? It appears. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints. Uh, <laughs> the fucking... The hard fucking... I will kill Kazuichi. I will fucking murder him. It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Actually, uh, Peko, you're fucking dumb. It's Hiyoko's footprints. Oh, uh, well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue. Don't you think? Yes, it's probably an extremely important clue. <laughs> footprints at a crime scene? I don't think so. Footprints on the beach has been added to the tree bullet section of a handbook. Sounds like a fucking weird plan word. Who hates Peko? I, <laughs> I will kill Shiny. <laughs> I will do it. Throw back to the I can see you <laughs> post just a few few lines up. I actually don't hate Pick. I, I don't hate Pico. I just like memeing on her. You know, I just wanted to die. And I'm just kidding. Pico's great. Here's that sword around in her little cloth backpack. I'm sorry, we talked to. Uh, did I, talk, I talked to Chiaki, didn't I? Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm not even reading this. I, it's, it is technically different. This case is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery, too. Hey, what type of game was the original game? Hmm. I don't know if this would be a clue or not, but I guess I should explain it. Twilight Syndrome and its adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify numerous urban legends. The player controls the character like a side-scroller. I'm pretty sure I said all this earlier. Yeah, you're right. Just saying a body will be discovered. Did I call her dumb? Oh shit, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot I did. I forgot I called that dumb fucking idiot a dumbass. I'm just kidding. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> if you want her if you want her to die, just saying. In the series, three games were released until the year 2000, the turn of the millennia, and then Y2K happened. But in 2008, a completely new game was released. As a fan, I was really happy. Oh, don't, brother. Don't worry, I know. I know. It's all memes here. No emotions, only memes. Uh, it even kept the same ambiance and gameplay as before. 
Aww. Other than that, a live action movie was also made based on the game's original story. It's not really a forgotten series like Monokuma claims, I think. Mm. I guess that's about it. I see. You helped me a lot. And when did this game came out? Not, what was it, like 2014? 2012? So, like, about four years ago was the. Was, was in universe. It was four years ago when. Um, uh, Twilight Syndrome Murder Case Revamped came out. I see, you've helped me a lot. Well, that's really... I'm glad that I fucking did. What about Kazuichi fucking hmm. Pop Soda here? Pop Rocks. Hmm, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. <laughs> well, there's a body. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. <laughs> Shit, that's funny. That'd be kind of... Oh, yeah, they're just kind of... Okay, maybe um, maybe that's what it is. Or, I mean, like, that... It, it, probably what it is uh when i opened it a few days ago i'm pretty sure there was a larger variety of drinks uh yeah Man. well i guess i'm just imagining things i mean who cares about drinks right now huh what are you talking about seriously it's okay i've resolved it on my own so just drop it what the heck you, you started on huh? refrigerator the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored they look unhealthy hmm Ah, okay, so maybe that's not it. It's oh, okay, so it's like they're describing it. All right, the last thing to check is actually, uh, I think, okay, so we've done, I haven't done Beachside Door. I'm just, I'm just gonna save because sometimes I'm wondering, like, do you, are you sure you wanna leave? But if it doesn't ask me that, I get nervous. There might, be, there might still be things I haven't investigated yet. No shit, like the fucking body. Um, trash can, oh, bench. Looks like this bench is bolted down. I can't really move it around. Okay. I don't know why that... That's funny. That's... <laughs> the bench is... How did I fucking hit the bench from here? What the fuck? All right. Closet. Uh, metal bat. Bloodstain. Check that out. Talk to Pico. Uh, saw the mask. Ibuki. She's shit in your pants. Uh, oh, I was going to go inside. Let's check it out. I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room, too. Aww. Oh, Kane, this is a really nice spacious shower room. If it's, if it's this huge, you could use it as a dressing room. But changing the beach, beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an unreasonable rule. Now is the time to think of such a thing. All right. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. It's the same text as before. Oh, excuse me. One of the monitors Monokuma uses to contact us. Nothing's on the screen right now. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. This big old thing. You got the shitter over there. Akane Awari, standing there. He just took a shit, probably. It kind of smells in here. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. Remember, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that. It's an iron-barred window. If that's the case, it has hinges, though. Yep, it would be impossible to go in and out, out through there. I think one of the things I like about this game is like, it's not just kind of like, he doesn't just point out that there's hinges on it. He actually just like, yeah, that'd be fucking impossible. But you as the player are like, wait a minute, there's hinges on that bitty. And like, it actually makes you, it makes you look at it rather than just be like, point, click, Makoto finds something out and like learns it, which wasn't necessarily like, you still had to put the pieces together. But I like that this game um, kind of makes you, uh, um, doesn't, uh, doesn't, <sighs> hand holding is kind of a strong word for the first game, but it's like, it doesn't hold your hand as much. For lack of a better word, it doesn't hold your hand as much. Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Leave it to me. All right, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Now then. Come on, give me a piggyback ride. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help. Feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. You if you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not going to matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> Don't worry, my... Oh, fucking my panties are clean. I I see. That, uh, that's uh, that's good. I, I let out a deep sigh, then bent over under the window. As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. <laughs> I fucking knew there was going to be a fucking... Uh, uh, there was going to be one of these things. <laughs> Your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. <laughs> you 
You're a lot heavier than I expected. Nice, really winning the points of the yeah, ladies, my friend. I'm so buff. Like every time I get a massage, they tell me I'm just a mass of muscles. <laughs> I knew it. She's like, she's like, give me a piggyback ride. I was like, all right, there we go. It's gonna be a fucking. <laughs> it's, there's gonna be a tableau. A massage, huh? Do you have a trainer or something? Since you're the ultimate gymnast. Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me full body massages. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> I shouldn't have so, asked. How's the window? Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. D did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar, I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. But check it out. J check it out? Hold on. I'll give it a try. <laughs> the same person. This is just, this is Goku in his other life. This is go. This is Goku after becoming fucking like Ultra Saiyan and just flying to another planet. With a Connie on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Wow. This iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See, my head can fit through, no problem. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window. Yep. Yep. Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, you know what? Two out of ten game. DH one is uh, uh, Danganronpa is, is ten times better. Ten times better. No fucking window bullshit. All the windows are bolted down. You know, I'm just saying. Is this a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Hmm, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. <laughs> But if two people work together, like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. I mean, the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice. Sounds like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? On the fucking nail on the head, Akane. But but even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be like. inside. But if you really think about it... But if you really think about... But if you really think about... Uh, just one person get out of here without help, right? <laughs> Really? So, yeah, like, a freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls, no problem, right? Hmm, just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out through that window. W what the heck? And they even took the time to lend you my wisdom! You are the one who said it was suspicious, so I took time to pitch in and help. You. It was such a waste of time to help you out. All you, ever, all you saw were my panties. No, I know, I know I didn't. It actually didn't show them. Oh, well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. Iron barred window has been added to the truth list section of your handbook. Well, I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Thank God they fucking tell you that. Give that little quality of life. QOL, thank you very much. Twirl that mustache. That mustache wax, I should put it in for the fucking memes. It is actually standing up. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Anywho. Uh, well, you know, nothing else to look at. Obviously, no other evidence to consider. Oh, wait, <laughs> the body. She's lost all like, the investigation theme. S Despair syndrome. One. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's, she's a shell. Dead skin in my fucking mouth? Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I almost want to jump for joy. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But, but we, we don't know time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both my hands onto my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Let's do it. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Did she, though? I'm not sure. Evidence can be seen in the blood stain on the floor. They're streaked as if she called, crawled through them. Okay. Okay. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. 
for someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. I'm guessing, okay, so the, here's my, here's my fucking, here's my fucking theory. Uh, I think it's pretty safe to say that Hyoko is in the closet because of the whole gummy thing. So she probably, I don't know fucking why Hyoko is in the closet, but for some reason she was in there, Mahiro is out here. Murderer comes in, murders Mahiru, um, or is like in the middle of attacking Mahiru. Hiyoko's like running to get some fucking help or something, and the murderer's like, Whoa. and so the and so kills Mahiru, and she uses her strength to block the door. So the murderer has to find another way out. So so the murderer either has to take the long way around, and. Uh, so they, they wouldn't be able to catch pretty much she's blocking the door because she didn't want the murderer to take take the roadside door Take the roadside door uh, and just catch up to Hiyoko um, But they could have used I suppose that they probably used the window um, Or uh, vice versa it was either Hiyoko or Hiyoko or um, um, The murderer used the window anyway um, Monokuma file number two has been updated in your handbook. Check the troop bullet section to review it. What is it? Uh, so she saw her to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. Some of his headstrong hit her run. She must have felt really desperate. Sad. Big emotion. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> um, I guess I finished investigating all I can, but there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like she's trying investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E. E girl was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Yeah, I should have remembered some of that shit. I didn't even think about that. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mahiro. It's also the name of one of the fucking characters in One Punch Man. That there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? Actually. In the truth, this game's in truth, this game's theme is a missing link. Um, no, I'd say it's a coincidence. You know, Monokuma presents this game. One of the characters gets murdered with the bat. Uh, someone in real life gets murdered with the bat. It's, it's probably not related. In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. It, they're really all about trying to find Sasquatch. A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for, ki for killing this time, then the mystery must be hidden inside that game. No problem, Virgil. I'll see you later. Thanks for coming by. Have a good rest of your day, okay? Um, yeah, see you. I'll be back. I'll see you. I'll see you on Tuesday, my friend. See you on Tuesday. Farewell. Then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Chiaki Nanami. We should ask her to be that update. Metal Bat has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bullet section to review it. All right, um, well, 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 let's talk to Chiaki, uh, Nanami Dab on the Hose. Uh, hey, Chiaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay? Are you okay right now? Is that what he's fucking asked? All right, sure. That's a fair question. Someone was just murdered. Are you done investigating here already? Huh? I, I think I, investigate, I finished investigating once through. Yep. Then let's go. Go, go, go. You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play let's it yourself. Go. So, let's go. Yeah, you're, you're right. With Chiaki leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never, I never expected that person to be waiting there. Mahiru? Fuyuhiko? Hello there. You know what? Boom! We're gonna fucking pause it here on YouTube. That's a fucking cliffhanger and a half, baby. We could go a little bit longer, but you know, you could also eat my shit, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sorry, so rude. Um, but yeah, so I we'll cut this here on YouTube. I am gonna uh, continue streaming this, uh, but um, but yeah. Okay, so Mahiru died. Wasn't expecting that, uh, and that's kind of tragic because I did actually like her. Um, but uh, I guess we'll just have to figure this shit out. Uh, but for now, if you want to watch me live, I am on Twitch, uh, and uh, you can find all like the uh, social media stuff in the description for this YouTube video below. We also have a Discord server and Instagram if you want to uh, follow all that shit there. But um, for now, 
yeah, I, I hope you're having a good day. And uh, thanks for watching this series. I'm having a good time. I, I really, really fucking like this game and the series in general. And if you uh, if you haven't played it, uh, I suggest giving it a go. But um, for now, uh, I will uh, catch you in the next episode. So. Pfft.